So if this was a DAC amp, let me tell you that would be phenomenal. When I first saw this, saw the USB-C, I was like, oh, and then disappointment followed. <laughs> All right, before we get started, Oppost Audio Store did send this out for a review. They are not paying, asking, or otherwise trying to influence my review in any way. All thoughts, of course, are my own. And disappointment aside, let me tell you why this thing is special, which has to do with what is inside of this. Uh, but before we talk about the inside, let's talk about the outside. USB-C charging, as I covered. Power light, uh, gain switch between three gain stage settings. On the front, you have 4.4 millimeter balanced, a 3.5 millimeter unbalanced input and output, and then your power switch slash volume knob, and then some protective rails. Now, build quality and aesthetics wise, this thing really speaks to me. I think it's the lettering. I just, I like this font probably a lot more than I should. And I think I'm gonna add some pops of color into this shot. I got some of these Nanlite things. I've been using a Quasar Science, and let me tell you, having just battery is, is wonderful. Okay, so I can't speak on lifetime toughness with this thing, but uh, lately, because I've been going from the studio in the house, I have this backpack and it's been jostling around in the backpack. And uh, for the last couple of weeks, it's actually been pretty solid. Like I don't see any dings or scratches or nicks or anything, and I haven't really been uh, soft with it. Okay, but again, why is it special internals? This thing is another topping amplifier that features NFCA technology. What is NFCA? NFCA is Nested Feedback Composite Amplification. This is, um, I think it's a topping specific style of amplification. They either came up with it or they're one of the only primary brands using it. This is in a lot of cases competitive and in some cases even beats a lot of the existing THX technology, which a lot of people are very familiar with. This technology was featured in their A50S, their A30 Pro, and their A90, which are the best measuring amplifiers in their price ranges. Now this thing, in terms of measurements, is no exception. It measures just like the others. It's really powerful, super clean. I think this will put out 1.4 watts in full gain mode of which you'll get, uh, they say about 10 hours of battery life in full gain and about 20 hours of battery life in low gain. And the total harmonic distortion numbers are like 0.00007%. It's ridiculously low. Um, it's just crazy that these amplifiers are, are that low. Like it's so mind boggling how low that number really is. Like that is a 10,000th of just 1%, which is ridiculous. Like that's, that's wild. I think it's got 130 decibel dynamic range, which is slightly less than some of their desktop units, but in terms of a mobile battery powered unit, that is phenomenal. And those specs and the price of this being $179 make this not only one of the best mobile amplifiers at the price, but one of the best amplifiers at that price. Now, what I wanna see in this system for me is a mobile DAC amp with this form factor. Please use this font. So I can plug it into my computer, the MacBook, or the phone. Just have one system across everything using USB-C, which I've standardized pretty much everything else for. That day with this sort of performance might be the day where I can just be like, yeah, just get that and like call it good. Like that, that's gonna be really incredible. But so far, all the NFCA stuff has just been in my opinion, absolute banger after banger after banger. And they've been coming out with some really good, well-priced amplifiers. Okay, so not enough gushing about the specs and the capability, blah, blah, blah. How's this thing actually sound? Well, kind of like the rest of the topping NFCA stuff, actually, it's got a really dead neutral sound. Now, even though this can drive some medium level planars, um, like I've been using this with the LCD5 lately, and that's been Really nice, actually, that, that is a very efficient headphone and it plays really well with something like this. But you may want some additional power for things like an HE6 or something like that. Um, but I think most of the mobile stuff that people are gonna be carrying with this are closed back headphones. Um, maybe even high-end closed back headphones like a, a Sony ZR1 uh, would probably fit uh, this type of amplifier very well. But I think the majority of people will probably be using this with nice IEMs. And the performance for IEMs, I cannot be more happy with. It's like staring into an auditory abyss for noise floor. There's basically nothing there. And then you get the super confident, transparent NFCA style bass, which is wonderful. And then the pristine top end comes through and it just really functions quite well. Now, mid-range on these NFCAs, it really depends on which headphone you're playing with. They deliver a very kind of natural, straight to the point, more factual sounding voice for a lot of people. Um, depending on the headphones, this is either a curse or a blessing. Uh, if you wanna play with something that's a little bit more kind of otherworldly, a little bit warmer than normal life would be a little bit more saturated. Um, I don't feel like NFCA style amplifiers are gonna be the best amplifiers for you. But if you do want that more realistic kind of stern, 
like not lying to you in any way sort of voice, I do feel like you get that with stuff like this NFCA amplifier. These NFCA amps are both easy and difficult to review because they don't really have a strong sonic characteristic to call out. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to the power output of the particular device and then the sonic characteristics of whatever your endpoint delivery system is. So if you have a good headphone, it's gonna sound great. If you have a bad headphone, it's not gonna sound that great. Kind of the end. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching. Until the next video, my name's Josh signing off. Peace.